I write, we are proving things. It just means writing down reasons, making statements, giving reasons for them. So we need to prove these two triangles are the same. I mean, they look the same, yeah, but, but it's about writing down your reasons and doing a logical thinking process. So let's start with uh, things they tell us. Uh, BC is congruent to, let's see, BC is congruent to DA because they tell me so. Those are what the tick marks are for. That's called given. <clears throat> let's see, what else do we know? Oh, we know there's this common line. They both have C-A-A-C -A -A -C in them, and those are the same. So C-A is congruent to A-C, and yes, you kind of have to name them that way because of the orientation of the triangles. Um, why? Because it's the same line. Because same line. Again, maybe you'll start learning. That's actually called the reflexive property, reflexive property. All right, so you know, if you're doing this on paper, you put a tick mark right on that. Um, we either need to find a third side or we need to find an angle in between those sides. Not any old angle, but the angle's got to be in between. Since we have two sides, you know, we've got S and then an S, we kind of need to find this angle, S-A-S. We're not allowed to find the angle after. That doesn't work. So knowing those four things that work. Um, so we need to know that this angle here, DAC, is the same as this one up here. Well, we're told we have parallel lines. All right, that helps. BC is parallel to DA, given. And that's going to help us with alternate interior angles. Remember those things? Awesome. So that tells us here's our parallels and then here's our transversal. So it actually tells us that angle um, B, C, A is congruent to, to angle um, B, C, A, D, A, C because alternate interior angles. Therefore, the triangles, triangle, what are they called? A, B, C. B, C is congruent to triangle. Oh, I spelled congruent wrong. Triangle C, D, A because of S, A, S. Awesome. All right, so now let's move on to another example. Um, again, the idea that we got to name them correctly is because of the order that the small angle lines up with the small angle kind of thing. Um, well, what do they give us? They give us some things here. Um, angle to the Q R P is congruent to angle. Let's see, Q, S, P, R, S, P, R, and that's the single tick mark angle, S, P, R, Q, R, P. Um, why? Because it's given. There's a tick mark on there. All right. Let's blow that up a little bit. Maybe you can see it better. Eh, not that big. All right. Oh, yeah, they give us the other angle. Um, Angle... RPQ, RPQ is congruent to angle, let's see, we want one, two, nothing, so PRS, because it's given, because they tell us so. Alrighty, <clears throat> now what else we got here? Oh, we need something else. We need a side somewhere, because we have two angles, you know, we got ASA or SAA kind of thing. Um, this side, P, R, and R, P. R, P is congruent to um, P, R because um, same line, reflexive property. At some point in time, you're just going to learn to call it reflexive property. Um, so that gives us triangle. Let's go R, P, Q is congruent to... Triangle, we want to see RPQ, so now we gotta go 
R P Q P R S P R S because and we look where we had we had angle side angle side angle. There you go. That's a proof. You're looking for reflexive, you're looking for parallels, verticals, things that are the same and why. Uh, let's see for example, how oh, we'll get to that one next.